Welcome to Fanboy and Critic, our show where we go check out new movies, new TV shows, whatever we think you might like, and give you our review, both the good and the bad. I'm John Martiz, and I'll be your fanboy. And I'm Sam McClure, I'll be your critic. This week on Fanboy and Critic, we're checking out uh, The Mandalorian. This is kind of a review of the first episode of The Mandalorian, also kind of a review of Disney+. Plus. Yeah. Uh, it's, there probably are going to be spoilers. I'm not, I'm not checking myself, he's not checking himself. We're just gonna tell yeah. you what we thought of the episode. So the first episode of The Mandalorian and Disney Plus as, as a whole came out. Uh, first of all, Disney Plus, I, I think is a great, like their interface is really great on the TV. Yeah. I think the, the library's insane, although we were looking through like the X-Men animated and it doesn't <laughs> have all the seasons, it's like skip season, so that's a that's That was kind of weird. But yeah, the yeah. interface is, completely user friendly i mean it's it's pretty much out there you could the whole universe is out there it's this, there's Disney's... so many good things <laughs> so many things that we forgot about that even existed yeah definitely it, the U, the ui is already better than hulu and hulu has had their streaming service for years but i uh, forget about that mandalorian the very first episode jay what do you think they're doing right they're doing everything right disney's <laughs> just doing everything right <laughs> They are definitely feeding our Star Wars loving hearts with this Mandalorian series. Um, you just jump into it and you know you're in Star Wars world. Um, I think that's what I love about it from the very first impression. And they they lived up to the Mandalorian. From the very first episode, he's just a total badass bounty hunter. And it shows, the, I mean, the very opening scene, he, he cut somebody in half with a door. Uh, some of the CGI was really cool. Some of it sucked, but I mean, what do you expect? It's <laughs> it's part of their service, or it's not a big time movie, but I mean, this is kind of their flagship. Like, this is the show they want to start off this service with. So yeah. you think there's parts where the CGI is, and there's parts <laughs> where it's really good. So it's like uh, they they put their budget where they thought they should put it. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of great things going on. Every pilot, you immediately get who this character is and what they're about. And what I love about this is that they drop you into the world and they don't try and explain anything. Yeah. They like either you've watched the movies and you kind of get a base sense, but like even that this feels like a totally different world from like the normal Star Wars because it's not Jedi, it's not Empire. Like it's just okay. smugglers and bounty hunters and it's like this is a totally different setting, but it's still within Star Wars. Somehow they've 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 yeah. co combined the two and I think they've done a great job so far. Yeah. One episode in. Um, the things I think aren't working or could be problematic later on. They keep teasing that this guy should take off his helmet. I don't want them to like tease it the whole time and be like, oh, he finally took it off and it's <laughs> Boba Fett. <laughs> like, I really hope they're not leading up to like this being Boba Fett because it's, it's obviously we don't know the face of Boba Fett. We don't know what he looks like. True. And if, if those of you in the know know that Pedro Pascal is playing the Mandalorian, so like him taking off the mask isn't isn't gonna do anything for the audience, and I hope they're not leading up for that. Also, it's it, it's only 39 minutes, which isn't uh, a full hour of broadcast television. That's uh, that's usually 44 minutes minus all the like that's an hour minus all the commercials. Yeah. So I wanted more, and I feel like they're gonna keep dripping a little bit at a time. I I kind of this is the binging generation like <laughs> come on give us everything and for the for, for the most part i thought this was amazing yeah it's this is a western this is like <laughs> a, this is a western and i'm all about it a sci-fi western is great i think his ship is is kind of not got the best design like slave one is a better ship yeah you far. immediately think of the slave one when you see his ship and you're like yeah you, you're not living up with the ship but I think of Slave One and I think of Serenity from Firefly. It's like a combo of those two, but it's not as good as either one. Yeah, I kept expecting the the thrusters to like kind of yeah, yeah to yeah, pivot and then turn and fly like how the Slave One would, but they didn't do that. Um, I don't know why, but they should have just did it. Um, what about his armor? His armor was really cool because it's not like the full Boba Fett. He's like yeah. he's not ready. He's not complete. And they show him getting like a piece, and that's like a test of the Mandalorian skill. Like he gets a piece, and yeah, I'm <clears throat> kind of curious to see how that's gonna play out. They they showed him getting one piece of his armor, and that's kind of like a, a sign of honor for him. Yeah. 
And I'm, I'm curious if it's just going to be piece by piece every time he does something, then they'll give him something. That's going to seem a little a little tacky. Yeah, but... hopefully they don't go down that route. I love this helmet, though. Yeah. He obviously earned his helmet. I think it's the same material as whatever that coin was. Or... Yeah, they say the name of <clears throat> There's a new material that's, that's very... Uh, very rare and from Mandalore, and obviously the Empire had taken it from Mandalore. Uh, he's part of both the Bounty Hunters Guild and like this Mandalorian like training thing, and yeah. both of them seem badass. <laughs> IG-88, the, oh. uh, the assassin droid showed up, and he is literally just a killing machine. Yeah, that was really awesome. He's just gun blazing, didn't miss. I mean, eventually he did, but his opening act was awesome. He was crazy. Uh, they got a lot of this like man with no name who doesn't talk thing going on with the Mandalorian. Yeah. I feel like, I mean, they're gonna add more characters, obviously. Yeah. They've shown them in promotions and all this, but like for the first episode, it was just like, we're following one guy who doesn't really talk. He's kind of yeah. badass, and then they do a, like a little bit where he's like just fumbling around with these animals. <laughs> like they, they make a hard 180, like first part, he's badass. Then he goes to this place and like these little sperm things with legs are able to beat him up. Yeah. It's like, I thought you were like the most badass guy ever. And these little sperm guys that don't move very fast <laughs> were able to sneak up on you. And then he can't even ride them after. And like, they, they kind of like, they flip him. And I don't know if that's... Well, I think they're just trying to show that he's not a fully... He's not a full Mandalorian. He's the Mandalorian, but he's not a full trained Mandalorian. I get it. There's there's multiple sides to him, but they didn't give him anything to really say with all this, and they didn't... True. Like, he should have just taken off his helmet. Now they've built it up to a thing where he can't take off his helmet, otherwise it's going to be a big moment. But it's not going to be that impactful, because we it's, it's for the audience, who cares who's underneath? Like, True. We don't, I mean, we, we're not going to recognize the character. We will recognize the actor, but... Yeah, yeah even with the build-up, if, if he did take off his helmet this episode, we'd just be like, okay, well, you saw your face. And the last reveal, man. Oh man! When they're like, "Oh, it's 50 years old. This, this is a 50 year old guy." He this, totally this called it. He totally called it. And I was it. like, "It's a Yoda. It's a Yoda. It's got to be a Yoda." And they sh and they show up, and it's this little egg. And they're like, "What? It said it's a 50 year old man." And then they open it. It's a it's a baby Yoda. It's, it's so cute. <laughs> yeah, it's super cute. It's so cute. And then the assassin droid just wants to murder it because that's what he do. Uh, let's not do a full rating. Here. Okay. Just, just what, 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 what did you, did you like this or did you think? Yeah, did I like it? I loved it. I to totally love it. Why well, didn't even ask? We're not rating it. Um, <laughs> not, not like a full I, rating. Like I said, they are feeding my Star Wars loving heart, and I have no complaints. No complaints. I don't care how bad the CGI is. As long as you <laughs> keep giving me more Star Wars, I will keep eating it. There was only a few spots. Most of the CGI was really good. There was just like one or two things. And and there was so much uh, practical effects, masks, costumes. Yeah. Oh, there's so much practical and it was great. Yeah. Um, like I said, I mean, the whole universe was there. You definitely see a lot of races and little monsters that you've seen in the past. And it just it just brings you Star Wars. And that's, what, that's the only reason I subscribed. I mean, of course, Disney, Marvel. But Star Wars is what I... Oh yeah, I, I really loved it. I am so excited. I'm a little skeptical about the things that I mentioned. Like I don't want them to lead up to the you know him taking off his helmet and yeah. being like Boba Fett because it has to be all characters that we know. I don't. I think it's much more interesting that it's not. Um, you know, a few things like that. But for the most part, this was badass. It's, they just knocked it out of the park. Knocked it out the park. Left us at a cliffhanger with a baby Yoda. All right, fanboys and critics, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment below. Check us out uh, this Thursday for Ford vs. Ferrari. We'll see you maybe next week for the next episode review.